didn't come to condemn the world nor to shame you for your wrong no no but I came to mend your broken heart and give your heart a song favorite song is uh, by the, uh, the Mississippi Mass Choir. Uh, it wasn't the nails that held him to the cross. Now, I can dance off that one. Yeah, I can dance off that one. So, uh, pray, pray the Lord for, uh, I'm trying to holler a little bit, and, uh, and I'm dancing a little bit. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to hold you long. Okay. <clears throat> Let's pray. Dear my Father, I do come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness, Lord. And, uh, thank you for your word. Ask you, Lord, to hide me behind the cross. Speak to our hearts. In the name of Jesus, I pray and do your thanks. Amen. Amen. Okay. Sometimes, uh, when I speak, sometimes you see me do this here. I'll put this Bible up here like this here. Sometimes you see me do that. Well, when we were going to jail, I did that every time I went. See? And jail is a little difficult to be in a gym. I can hop. Glory. About this book here. See? The book, and you can set the book on the table. Long table. And I come back with the inmate song. And uh, then I tell all the inmates, I said, what, what, so what, what I want you to do, I want you to look at this book right here. See, I like that. You look at that book right there. Glory. And then I tell you, then I say, I'm going to go up and I'm going to do something special. I'm going to do something special. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open it. Good God. I say, I'm going to open it. And when I open it, God is going to speak. Amen? Amen? Amen. Not, 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 not Brother Cole, but, but God is going to speak. Amen? So, and what, uh, what we're going through today uh, let me keep up with the time here, so I'm going to go over. We're going to do it with Bertie, too, so <laughs> I'm going to go over here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if we cannot see we're in the last days now, something, something's wrong. We are in the last days. Now, I was supposed to be going into Second Kings chapter 5. Dealing with Naaman. The Lord said, No. So you go back. You go back to uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 18. And uh, that's the last time I spoke. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to do a review and we're going to bring out a few uh, a few of the scriptures. And we were uh, dealing with Ahaz and uh, Jehoshaphat. And we said we want to use those scriptures in our uh, application for today. And uh, it's Ahab. So this part of this is review, and then we're gonna bring some other scriptures in. Okay. And uh, what happened is Jehoshaphat loved the Lord. He loved the Lord. He loved the Lord just like we do. Okay. He loved the Lord. But he joined himself with, with Ahab. And Ahab is a, was an ungodly king. He was an ungodly king. And what Ahab did, he persuaded, he persuaded uh, Jehoshaphat, it says in verse 2, 18-2, okay? So he persuaded him. Now, 
And then uh, Ahan asked me, said, will, will you go with me out to uh, Raymond Gilead? Now, when we come to this area right here, uh, Jehoshaphat was a king, and Ahab was a king. And they are over people, okay? So it's very important for, especially pastors, pastors, uh, like my brother Tony, uh, pastors around the country. What he told him was, uh, what Jehoshaphat said, he said, I am as thou art. That's what he told him. He said, I am as thou art, okay? Uh, that's verse 3. He said, I am as thou art, but it's also something that goes with him. Goes with that. Uh, I pray it all for the uh, for our pastor and the abundant life Bible mission that we've been taught from day one. This is the abundant life Bible Bible mission. And we have had uh, uh, you know Brother Griffin. That, that, that's all he taught the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, Brother Matthew Johnson. Brother Matthew Johnson, the Bible. I think the people in Philly call him the Walking Bible. We had Brother Dawson. Brother Dawson, all we taught the book, the book, the book. And we had our, our brother Ridley. He nothing but the word. And we had our brother Arrington. He nothing but the word. So we had plenty of word, plenty of word. But we used in that. We used that. We used that in application. We were growing now. We used that in application for the day's time. And uh, uh, the pastor have a, a, a tremendous job because they're over people. Okay, and what Jehoshaphat said, he said, "I am uh, as thou art, and my people, my people." See, when he said "my people," uh, he talking to the congregation. Right? So the pastor is in charge of the congregation. If the pastor go off, then the congregation goes off too. See, so pray the Lord for uh, the, the Brother Life Bible Mission, Amen, and our pastor, Amen, mm -hmm. that they keep up what in the Word. Is that right? Okay, but. Now we come to Jehoshaphat. Uh, just, just bear with me a moment. Okay, just bear with me a moment. Okay. And Jehoshaphat was right, was, was, was right on key. Jehoshaphat was, was right on key. Uh, he had some Bible under him. It was used in the day's time. In verse 4, verse 4, 18, 4, and what he asked him to do, he said, inquire of the Lord. So you can see that he said what? He did what? He wanted to check with the Lord before he do what? Anything. And that's what that's what we should do. We should check with the Lord before we do anything. Okay? Verse 4. Now, and we're going to uh, read some of these scriptures in a few minutes. And then we come to uh, verse 5. Okay? We come to verse 5. We in uh Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. 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 What scripture is this? What scripture? Verse 4. I mean, like, yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let me read it. Okay. Okay. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king, king of Israel, Inquire, I pray thee, at the word of the Lord today. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Right, huh? What did I say? 18. You didn't say it first. Why did you say it? Okay. Okay, Second Chronicles. What was your scriptures? Okay. Okay, Second Chronicles, that was 18.4. Okay. Okay, no problem. Yes. See, uh, that's what the good guy, uh, when, when you're alive. Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the saints, <laughs> the saints will say, hey, brother, hold a minute. See, we got some sisters in here, amen. That's some brothers, amen. They say, hold, hold on, hold on a minute. Wait, what, what did you say? <laughs> which is which is good. I like that. You know what I mean? Which is good. But they will they will call you. Amen. You know I so uh, Jehoshaphat he said, inquire of the Lord. So now this is an ungodly king, and Jehoshaphat is saved. Okay. And he said what? Inquire of the Lord. Okay. Everybody see that from verse four? Okay. Now we're not gonna read all these verses because we have already gone over this here. Okay. Now. And then we come to uh, verse uh, verse five. Okay, verse five. Okay. Verse five reads, "Therefore the king of uh, of Israel 
Get it together. Okay. A prophet. And how many prophets did he have from that village? 400. 400. 400. So number one, we can't just go by what? <coughs> what we see. The people we see, okay? We just can't go by that. So but so now, uh, but then Jehoshaphat come back again and say, is there somebody else? Is there a prophet of the Lord that we can call on? Okay? So we come to, uh, come to verse 7. We need to back up and see Verse 7. And the king of Israel said unto the okay. okay. That's not the verse I want to read though. Okay. Yeah, I'll read it. Okay. It is the verse I want to read. Okay. Let's have all read the verse again. Verse 7. And the king of Israel said unto the Beside these 400. So we know that Jehoshaphat is in the, in the world, right? Mm -hmm. We know he's in the world, right? But King Ahab, he said, he said, listen, there is, there what, from first seven? There is what? One man. One man. And we got, we talk about 400 over here. And one man giving him some trouble. He said, yeah, there's one man, but what I what? I love him. I hate him. So I hate him. And if we stand on God's word, I can tell you what will happen today. They, they're not going to love you now, amen? He yeah. said, those that what? Them that what? Those that live what? Live God that shall do what? Persecution. Persecution, okay. All right. <clears throat> now, so, now, they said, well, go get Makai. Go get it. And you got two kings right here. And they got the, they got this the, the seats where they sit in, and they waiting for one man out of four hundred preachers. Cause we use this application, application for the day. You got four hundred preachers. They said, "Go get Makai, and uh, and we gonna wait on it." Okay. Now Jehoshaphat is a saved man. We use the application for the day. He's a saved man. Okay. So now he waited. Ahab, an ungodly king, and a saved, and a saved king, they waiting for waiting for Micaiah to come. So when uh, so when uh, he said, "Go go get him." So when they got when they went to get him, make sure keep up keep up with everything here. Yeah? Okay, okay. Look at verse thirteen. Now this is this is actually a review. Okay. Verse 13. And I, I will read this verse right here. Verse 13. Okay. Verse 13. And Micaiah said, As the Lord liveth, even what my God said, that will I speak. You need to uh, put a mark beside verse 13. Whatever the Lord said, that is what we should speak. Would you say so? Yeah. Don't go by how I feel. Don't go by what I think. Don't go by what I believe. Don't go by how I see. It. Whatever the Lord said to me, that will I speak. And if we if we lose sight of that, we're in some deep trouble. We are in some real good, real deep trouble. So what we're going to do? We're going to uh, speed dial for a little bit because this is still review. We're going to speed dial a little bit. Now, who is Ahab? Is Ahab a, 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 a godly king or ungodly king? Ungodly king. <coughs> what in the world, Jehoshaphat 
doing with him. You see? But we can get caught in that. Yes, we can. We can get caught in that. Now, we, we did mention uh, uh, Jehoshaphat's son married uh, Ahab's uh, daughter. That could be a family thing. But when it come, even when it comes down to family, God's word must come first. Amen? Amen? When you talk about disciple, that's what we're talking about. God's word must come first. Okay? And we know uh, about Jezebel. That was Jezebel's daughter. Okay, so if she had some uh, dealing there, she was a little rough. Would you say so? Amen. Jezebel a little rough, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so we're going we're gonna to speed up a little bit. Now, I want to go to uh, uh, verse uh, 26. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, verse 26. Okay. Have a loss in the Bible. Huh? No. Okay. Are you, everybody keep up with me? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. All right. Let me know if you're not, though. Okay, son? Verse 26. Okay. Let me find it. Let me get it straight here. Verse 26. Okay. Right. Let me read that verse again. And, and say, it. Thus saith the Lord, 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 and the water of affliction and so I will return in peace. Now, he said put him in prison. Why he put him in prison? Because he only speak the word of God. Now, I don't know what you know tonight. And come time, it's going to be difficult to preach the book. I just want to tell you like this here. I mean, if you go in here and preach these scriptures, it's going to be difficult. And somebody, somebody, uh, well, they're already cutting people off what? What do you call them? Uh, High-tech things? Them, uh, what do what, what, what them hack up high-tech things like, like Facebook and places like that? Uh, social media. Uh, social, media. Social, social media. Right, right. You come out here, you come out here when you want to. You come out here, you come out here you want to. They be telling you some no, oh, no, you can't, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. So now, but I do what, what, what I do. I don't want to. Uh, uh, the main point I want to bring out is that uh, the four hundred prophets, the four hundred prophets, told Ahab said, "You go up to the Lord said, God said He going to He going to put it in your hand." Now, when you come to this area right here, what we want to do today are lying spirits. Okay, the 400, the 400 prophets, they were lying. Those were lying spirits, and we have lying spirits today. Okay, we have lying spirits today. Now, as we come on down, uh, what we want to look at is verses, uh, okay, verse uh, 28, or 27. Look at verse 27. And then we're going to, a few more verses. Verse 27. Okay. Have a loss in the Bible. Okay, verse 27. Back up to verse 27. Okay. Okay. And Micaiah said, If thou certainly return in peace. Okay. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Then had not the Lord Spoken by me. Everybody said? Yes. And he said, Hearken all you people. Now, they told him, Lock him, they said, Lock Micaiah up till, till he returned in peace, right? Micaiah said, If you return in peace, then the Lord had not spoken word to me. Now, Jehoshaphat is sitting there listening to that. Okay? Once the time I'm going to read John 17. And I'm reading John 17 because the Lord wants us to be what? One. 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 This is when Jehoshaphat and Micaiah should have become one. This is when they should have become one. Now Jehoshaphat is sitting right there listening to everything Micaiah said. He talked about the, the scene in heaven, about those land spirits. 
And Jehoshaphat is sitting there. And he's listening to it. So what does what does uh, Jehoshaphat do? What does he do? Okay. Okay, so let's go to the next verse. And then I'm going to uh, look at verse 28. Verse 28. Okay. Okay. Verse 28. Okay. And so the king of Israel, okay, Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, look what, look, look what happened. They what? Now listen, what he doing going up there? What he doing going up there? Now we got with the other say you got we gotta be careful, saints. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go back and read those scriptures with so they know where the lion spirit came from. Okay. Yeah, that's verse 19. Okay, verse 19, okay, okay. I don't want to take too much time, but okay, yeah. Read all that time. Okay. Right, we're talking about the lion spirit, saints. Let's go back to verse 19. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Now that's everybody should read verse nineteen so we we, we all see it. Let's read verse nineteen together. And, and the, the Lord, Lord said, said Who shall Christ be the king of Israel, that he may go up and fall before his name? And one say the same after his name, and another say after his name. And verse twenty also. Then then the Spirit of the Lord said, I will entice them. And the Lord said unto him, Where are they? And Spirits out here today. That's why we got to stay in the book. See, if you come out the book, I can tell you right now. Now, we're going to cover those scriptures before I close. Uh, if, if, we, if we come out the book, we're in trouble. Well, thank you for that, brother Tom. That was the scene in heaven, okay? And those lying spirits, we have lying spirits today. And if you're not in God's word, now, Jehoshaphat. What was what right on key because he said, Look, uh, is there anybody else we, that we can inquire except these 400 men right here? Is there, if there's a person in the Lord, he said, Yeah, there's one, but I hate him. So he ran on target, but then he went with him. What he went with him up, he went with the unsaved up. So we truly had to be careful with that, amen. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just want to go up and see what uh, the next verse said that, that was verse 28. Uh, Okay. Now, yeah. I want to go to verse 29. So it went up. Look at verse 29. We're going to get rid of the, uh, verse 29. Okay, verse 29. Okay. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, I will do what? Oh, okay, go ahead and read the rest of it. Listen, the unsaved will always disguise themselves that they first they'll say that they're with you. But then I call this a trick, the trick birds. Okay? But you gotta listen to this here. And that Jehoshaphat, he gotta say, wait a minute, man. He said, Jehoshaphat, he said, you he said, I'm gonna disguise myself, but you put your robe on. <laughs> look, look, say, look, look. And he loved the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. He loved the Lord. And we got Christians that love the Lord also. But Satan is always in the background and he used people and they disguise that they're with you. <laughs> but they're not with you. And when uh we're gonna just I'm gonna uh just go over it right now. And uh so the king assured them, they said, Listen, we want Ahab. So make sure you get Ahab. But Ahab don't have no robe on, king robe on. Who had the wrong king robe on? 
the Christian. The Christian got the, he got the rope. So he, he had them put him in the trick. And I'm telling you something, the world will put us in the trick also. Will you say so? Okay. Now, so we go up. They put him in the trick. So now who, 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 who the army chaser? Yeah, chasing Jehovah back. Is that right? Yes. Right. So uh, let me see what my birthday that is. Hold on a minute. Okay. Uh, look at verse uh, 31. Verse 31. Verse 31. Verse 30? Okay, verse 30. Okay. Uh, make, make sure I got it right. Okay, 30. Uh, no, no, I want verse 31. Okay, everybody read verse 31 for me. And chapter 19. I want to go to chapter 19. Okay. Do we have a loss in the body? No. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, just a couple more minutes. Okay. Chapter 19. Now, it gets, it gets real tight right here in chapter 19, verse 1. And, and, and Jehu, uh, verse 19, uh, chapter 19, okay, and verse 1. And Jehoshaphat, king of, uh, of Judah, returned, okay, to his house uh, in peace in Jerusalem. Read verse 2 for me. Check it out to see if it lines up with God's word. If it doesn't line up with God's word, you got to shake that off. He says, should it though help? Circle that word help. See? Should thou help the ungodly? And then it, and it has the, the A and D in there. And love them that hate the Lord. We can fall into that trap. If we don't check everything out by the way, like what Brother Tony said a little while ago, this going on, you're talking about this here and this here, but you got to be what? By the book. By God's word. And we can actually, look, look, there's a church on every corner. I know they got some Pharisee churches. There's a church on every corner. And laws are being passed against the word of God. Somebody got to help me. Somebody helping me ungodly somewhere. But, look at verse 3. Amen. Nevertheless. You know what I you know what the Lord I used that word last time? It was over in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. Nevertheless. You got to, remember when you spoke on? That the, uh, the, uh, the young man and young wife, no, the young man and young lady, they need to go to the city of nevertheless. To avoid what? Oh. Say it loud. Fornication. Right. Right. But look at Here's another nevertheless. Read, read that one for me. Nevertheless, 
Right. He said, nevertheless, but you do some good things. The Lord loves, the Lord loves his children. Let me put that down. The Lord loves us, all of us, even though we might make some mistakes over here, but the Lord still what? Loves. He loves us, amen? amen? He loves us. But it was a powerful question. So when we taught on Wednesday night, when Jehoshaphat went to chapter 20, in verse 12, he said, Lord, I don't know what to do. You remember that verse? <laughs> but, but what? <laughs> but my our eyes are what? Oh, uh, pardon me. Oh, that's, a, that's a whole different ball game over here. Is that right? So we're going to close with these, two, uh, these verses right here. For time's sake. Have a lost anybody though? Anybody confused? Okay. All right. Now, what I want to do, uh, I want to go to first first um first John chapter four. And we have some lying spirits out here today. Would you say so? They said God sees. Now, now you gotta watch it. You got, you got to watch this now. I am of faith too. You got to watch that, isn't it? So now, the way we stay on target is holy God's word. That's where we stay on target. Okay? Okay. First John, chapter 4. Okay. And this is what we had to do with our saints. First John, chapter 4. All right. And verse 4 reads, okay. Beloved, believe not. What? Hold it right there. Okay. We just read over in 2 Chronicles chapter 18, there's a word. Some what? Some lying spirits. Look at this verse 4 again. Uh, verse 1. The Lord believe not in the spirit, but do what? Try, Try the spirit, whether they what? Of God. Everybody see that? Yeah. Because many false prophets are going out into what? the world. Read verse 2 for me. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ will come in the flesh is of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, and what you're saying, do you believe that what Christ came from heaven? Amen? Amen. Born, conceived in Mary's womb, yeah. went to the cross, yeah. bodily, we're talking about, yeah. and, and rose from the dead bodily. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, I stopped a guy in jail one time. I said, you believe in... Uh, Death, burial, resurrection? He said, yeah. I said, you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins? He said, yeah. I said, do you believe that he was buried? I mean, I believe he died on the cross? He said, yeah. I said, you believe he was buried? He said, yeah. I said, you believe that he rose from the dead? He said, yeah. I said, you, do, but do you believe he rose in the flesh? He said, no, I don't believe that. <laughs> he said, no, I don't believe that. <laughs> he said, so he couldn't get saved. I told him to. I said, you can't get saved because you don't believe the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection. That the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sin, that he uh, was buried, and he rose from the dead bodily. Amen. That's what the gospel is, amen? Okay? Now, I want to close with uh, Romans 3, 4. I'm going to quote that for time's sake. Father, anyway. Romans 3, 4. How, how many are, uh, we, we need to turn there, that's be our last verse. Let's turn there. Okay, we're going to close right up, we're going to close right up the saints. And, and this is so, so we won't get caught up like our uh, Jehoshaphat did, okay? Amen? Amen. I hope somebody will read with it. Amen. Okay. Uh, Romans 3, 4, read that verse for me. To let God be true. Okay. 
He said, let God be true. Is that what the verse said? Yes. And every man. So y'all ain't get that? You get that? No, you didn't? No, you get that? Because see, there are some people walking around there well, that we believe in. The scripture says, every man. I'm in jail and I'll holler. Every man. Every man. What? Well, he ain't saying that now. Every man. Every man. I don't care who the man is. Every man alive. Let God's word be true. This book right here. We cannot go what I believe, what I think, how I feel, how I see it. Because you didn't get saved that way. We didn't get saved on how I, how I believe. I believe in the crap table. They ain't saved me. Trouble that way. <laughs> just tell the truth like this. We believe in changing the girls. But they ain't saved me. Is that right? Amen. How I feel, what I think, what I believe, I don't care what corner news. Run it through here. Run it through here. You know why? Because Satan got news station. We didn't go with uh, 2 Corinthians 4 4. The God, the small g, the God of this world has blinded the man. Satan got new new stages. How you know they're telling you the truth? Until you come to the, to the truth. I don't care who the man is. Let that man be a liar if he's not coming out of this book right here. Because he'll deceive you and put you in the trick and disguise himself like Ahab did. The main part we miss. I'm gonna close, I gotta close with this. Ahab, we we you now we talked about it on the last time I spoke. The radar. God said man put an arrow, and the arrow went in the opening where the armor he had on. Went right in there and, and shot him with that arrow, and he ended up dying. And let me tell you the reason why he had to die. Because Micaiah said, You won't come in back. And God is not going to let nobody come over top of him. Because if Ahab would have gone back, all them 400 prophets. Would have been jumping for joy. And he'd have called Micaiah and said, Micaiah, I'm back. <laughs> but no, he didn't get back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. God won't let him come back. Amen. 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 God won't let him come back. Time goes, so we're going to stop right there. <laughs> Amen. So, let's pray. This message for believers. That we stand on God's word. But it may be somebody that's not saved. The gospel of the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for our, our sins. That he was buried, he rose from the dead. That's good news. I don't care who you are. What lifestyle you're in. Or what you're doing. Jesus Christ is the same of death. He the same, and he won't just save you. And all you have to do is tell God you're a sinner. Agree with God's word. And believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. And receive him to your heart. Is there anyone that says, I, I want to make sure, I, says, I want to make sure that I'm saved. Is anybody? Just raise your hand. And for the one that may be uh, looking, you can say a prayer like this here. 
Dear God, I am a sinner, and I'm sorry for my sins. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, that you were buried, that you rose from the dead. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. And the Lord will save you right now. But then there might be some Christians in here like Jehoshaphat, love the Lord, but we're kind of leaning with their world a little bit. And we're not checking everything out by God's word. And you may say, I don't want to get like Jehoshaphat. I know the Lord loved me and he loved Jehoshaphat. But I want to start making sure I check everything out now by God's word. Is that your, is that your prayer? Amen. My prayer is Dear my Father, we do come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Have your way. In Jesus' name I pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Yes, he did. He kept all of us here. He kept us 
sing that song today. I almost got up here and started singing with myself. I got so happy. <laughs> but the brother Cole was saying, don't worry about the newspaper, what's going on. That will keep you in perfect peace with mind and stay on me. That's what God said. Keep your mind on Jesus, brothers and sisters. Forget about the stuff around. The Lord will take care of all that. Sometimes the Lord has helped things Make things happen because they forget that he even exists. Amen. God has left stuff happen and say, I'm still God of heaven and earth. Yes. And he rules in the fast of men. So don't worry about the pandemic. Yeah, all that stuff good, but I'm trusting Jesus to get me through. Yes. Aren't you? Amen. Is that right? Yes. I'm so happy to see y'all. Just like we just meeting for the first time. <laughs> Some of y'all look like y'all got kind of young. Are you eating good and sleeping good? <laughs> <laughs> but it's all Jesus, right? Amen. Father, we love you, and because you, you told us to keep our eyes on you and study your word. Stay in the Holy Scriptures. It's your word that gathers. Because what's going on in this world, you told us to keep our minds only stayed on you. And you say you'll keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Thank you all the saints that have come back again. You brought us all back once, one more time because you love us. And because Jesus loved us and gave his life for us. Would you continue, Lord, to keep the saints safe? Satan is like trying to sift all of us like wheat. But praise God, Jesus is praying for us that we won't lose our faith. Thank you for the word today. And Lord, would you minister each saint that here today? And most of all, that we'll take time to be holy. In Jesus' name, let the saints say, Amen. Thank you. Rescued our story. 